Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and ACN Arena, and I gotta say, just some really cool stuff right from the get-go. This is the invited team, Mineski, obviously one of the big bad boys in the SCA region, facing off against an open qualifier team. ACN Arena were able to make it on through there and uh, have really shown their stuff over the past couple of days here, beating out uh, each team that they've placed so far, 2-0. So really good on them, and this is going to be their biggest test yet. I'm Lyrical Dota, joined today by Rio Zorab, <laughs> Rio Borez. We're going to call him Rio, my goodness. We've been making this joke for too long now. But, sir, how are you doing? <laughs> nice. That's good. Radiant team back. <clears throat> Dire team pick. I speak for the trees. Radiant In the meantime, though, we, we do still have this game that's going to be going on. And with the first pick, they did end up taking the Nature's Prophet, Mineski. Uh, the Bounty Hunter was banned out as well as the Alchemist and a OD Invoker. Pretty good start to this one. Um, again, the Alchemist, a little bit of an odd ban, but I guess that uh, Mineski is somewhat infamous for running that hero and what it brings to the table. Um, it, it does leave open the Nature's Prophet, though, and this is always just so scary. What is it about this hero that everybody wants to play it? Dire team pick. Enchantress. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Hmm. Radiant team ban. Yeah, that's always scary to look at. And, you know, I, I like what you said there. Sometimes we would also see, like, Oracle picked as the hero to try and go for the counter to Batrider. Um, even a couple of teams at the Shanghai Major were running, like, the Jungle Legion with Press the Attack to be able to make sure that things ended up working out. Also, like, just all over the place. Um, but I, I think that Venge is probably the most well-rounded hero because you also, like, I feel like the problem with either running an Oracle or a Legion is that you either run into problems with, like, you know, your oracle kind of has trouble in the mid game being able to stay alive and actually do enough damage uh, and then for the legion of course if you want to run it it's in the jungle which is terrible um, so Benj is like the best all around hero in my opinion did with the bat rider uh, but the morphling banned out as well as the viper um I guess the Batrider really coming back into fruition again, is it? Is it this just more of a play style thing that he's come back? Or is it, do you think that the changes to him ended up being enough as well?
Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Mm -hmm. Reserve time. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're going to be seeing them try to go for the specter as the answer. Um, it, it's it's an interesting dynamic here because obviously it basically I feel like puts Mineski on a timer. Like specter, if they end up going for the radiance build, is going to be able to push out those creep waves so effectively. Um, but likewise, if Enchantress Nature's Prophet plus three others are able to pressure down the towers quickly enough and stop that, uh, you know, radiance from coming online, all of a sudden now your specters just going to end up dying. And I feel like it's harder to go for something like a sort of Aghanim Scepter build for Nature's Prophet against a spec because you're kind of just feeding gold. What do you feel like is going to be the skill build here for NP? Or rather, the item build. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Lion. Radiant team pick. Hmm. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Doom. Dire team pick. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Ten seconds remain. So you think that if this doom is going to be run in the fort position, that would be too Five greedy and they would really remain. be punished for it uh, and they would just end up losing, you think? All right, well. Radiant uh, team ban. That would be scary. Yeah, it would mean that the Enchantress would drop down to that four position as opposed to the... Sometimes we've been seeing her put in the three. I guess that it's always kind of in that three, four-ish. It, it kind of trades off depending upon what it is. And generally she's going to be able to get as her farm regardless. I like the Doom as an answer to Enchantress just be, to be able to eat the creeps. But I would agree with you. And they, they do end up banning out that draw there. That's a good decision. And they already had all the control in the world. The other thing that's kind of interesting about the Lion Spec dynamic is Spectre is not a hero that like ever wants to have to go go for a BKB. Is there any chance at all that she might end up going for that in that game to deal with the control uh, and the magical damage that's coming out? Five seconds remaining. Mm -hmm. Radiant team pick. Mm -hmm. Right. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. 
Reserve time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that could be pretty cool. Um, is there any other, like, I, I feel like Coddle is always something if you're wanting to try and, like, hold high ground, but he never gets picked anymore. Is there any particular reason? Is it just too, too weak in lane, or what do you think? Zeus. Oh. <laughs> well, greed's the, the name of the game, that's for sure, and uh, it certainly means that if they're able to hold on long enough, then they're going to be able to win against this uh, Maneski side, but God, it's going to be hard to hold them off that long. Um, I guess the one thing about this is, like, if they're able to dodge the sort of five-man train that's coming their way, they, they can probably hold high ground for a long time with the Zeus. And they don't have something like the, the Venge on the enemy uh, side to be able to swap them out. I guess just mainly the Puck potentially going to be able to pick up that Blink Dagger and get a good initiation. Um, and then Maneski are going to go back for the Sven. So probably a lot of Blink, blink Dagger heroes are up now for uh, Maneski. Who, who are you faving so far in this draft? Right. Yeah, that's terrifying. That's just so much freaking damage. Um, but regardless, I'm going to be, uh, you guys can see that I have 200, and 200 ping right now. So there yeah man it's a struggle I, i'm telling you it's it's been a bit rough <laughs> i'm going over there but uh we'll, we'll take that off so you don't have to contend with my uh display network information nobody wants to see that we're about ACA, meanwhile, um, down here in the bottom left-hand side of the map, it's going to be Skimberloo, uh, who's going to be playing on the Batrider. G is going to be the Zeus. Uh, it's also going to be Isian, who's going to be playing the Vengeful Spirit. Gabby is the Spectre. And last but not least, Fly Solo on the Doom. And would you care to uh, introduce the crazy folks from up there in the northeast side of the map? Yeah, well, that sounds good. <laughs> Raging face potato. <laughs> I like that. Well, they're they're moving out fairly quickly here to start this off, summoning a couple treants, and maybe gonna try and pressure on out, see if they can get some type of smoke play and find a kill. Lion does have it. Hasn't popped it as of yet. Meanwhile, it's worth noting that ACA is heading out on their own. Doom does have those boots up as well as uh, G moving out here. So this could be a little bit scary. Batrider isn't with them. If they get caught out at the very start of this, it's going to be a problem. And they're scouting out with the Treants too. So everything working for them. Oh, they eat one. That's kind of a nice, but immediately going to be able to jump on in there. And he actually summoned up Devour. Oh man, fly solo. Yeah, that's going to happen. Thirty seconds to battle. Pull roots and run. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing a little bit of damage here onto G. The stacks are starting to get piled up a little bit. He is going to be able to pick that one up and suddenly dead. Like, Zeus just kills him off. Oh my goodness, though, G is going to end up dying for it. 
Oh, that's a little bit frustrating. Turn back around at Will, and they're going to be able to kill off the Sven now. So the the battle continue. It just rages on. He's still got a lot of stacks up, and Fly Solo is here as well. They're diving super deep for this. Jesse Bash is going to maybe be able to finish him off. Can they get the last hit? Can they do it? He's still chasing. Is going to be able to run away so quick to be. Oh, my goodness. But they're not going to be able to find it. And now Jesse Bash might go down in his own. I, I don't know if they're going to be able to find that kill. Oh, God. He's running back in. This is super greedy. Enchanter sends up to nine herself to the creeps. But in the meantime, it does look like Bat Rider's going to get caught out. Why did he go back? Oh, no. Bat Rider dies. Two to three is the current score. Oh, man. That was really weird. He could have gotten away with that one, and they would have been a one for three trade. Or one for two, I guess. Yeah. Isolant, the vengeful spirit almost dying. Uh, we do have Fly Solo actually jumping here again and gonna continue to mess around with Jesse Bash a little bit. The Minus Armor is actually doing a ton of work. He ends up going for the Nature's Attendance, keeping him alive for now, but that means no untouchable. He haven't turned around and killed off Fly Solo as of yet. This is such a freaking fast little deer lady. Still taking a little bit of aggro from the satyrs over there, but it looks like Fly Solo might be the one that's going down. Can they find this kill super freaking low at this stage? Doesn't have anything at this point outside of that devour. Jesse Bash about to dive the tier 2 tower gets the slow off but it's not going to be enough that that's still going to be a kill so 2 to 4 um, but as you mentioned the laning sage kind of going okay for the radiant despite the fact that they're dying like they're getting a decent lead in terms of last hits in several of these well, I guess not anymore batrider was able to zone out earlier but now he's been zoned out fairly effectively yeah radiant's courier has been killed. Oh, that's that's the bottle. Absolutely, and that 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 just destroys G's lane. He was trying to bottle crow, um, but not able to make it work. Unfortunately, now you're you're looking at this lineup and like, oh my goodness, did Batrider just die up in the top lane too? There's just action everywhere. Two to five is the score, but Lion able to dive over there. <laughs> Let's send help, guys. It's worth noting, by the way, yesterday we had that 80-minute long game. Uh, you know, that one was between uh, Mineski as well as Extremists, I want to say, potentially. Um, and this this team, they they the whole time it was going, it was just kill after kill after kill. Uh, nobody ever was safe. And I, I, I already starting to be something similar right now. Oh no! Up there in the top lane, they're able to get the fire, or the firefly over the top of it, and just Batrider finds an easy kill right there in the Sven. And we, I mean, we talked about you know throwing their bodies at each other, but you gotta admit or think that this maybe favors, favors ACA. Like if they're able to trade in this early stage where you know Mineski are supposed to be ahead, what happens once Spectre really starts to you know come online? Oh man, and you know the people talk about sort of the OPness of Shockwave and what that brings to you, but that's only if you can actually cast it out. And I mean, Doom doesn't have that high of a mana pool to start with, so forced all the way back to base now. And uh, Enchantress is going to continue to mess around here. I, I will say, with the Venge in the area, you got to be careful. She is not the most tanky of people, and uh, Abby can body blocked a little bit by her own vengeful spirit. Man, that hurts. This this little dear lady, she does a lot of damage. Yeah. 
The other thing that's nice about it is he actually gonna. Were they diving on him or something? It looks like they're gonna be able to kill off maybe in the top lane as the Firefly is going, but they have the TPs that are coming out. Can they actually get it? So many stacks up, and that's gonna be it. They do end up being able to kill off the Sven, but they lose the Doom for it. Absolutely worth it. There's gonna be the Jean over the other direction. Raging Potato jumps in as well. They've caught him out. Sprout is there, and that Rider does end up dying, but still, that's the safe lane hero going down for, I mean, two off laners. Do you feel like that's worth it there? Yeah. Well, and of course, you know, you, you look at the later stages of this and uh, it, people talk a ton about the way that Sven ends up working in the late game. If you if you do have the ability for his BKB charges to start to run low, all of a sudden you get into a situation where he can start to be controlled. You got even a Venish stun can just completely change the dynamic of the game, not to mention something that comes out big like... It's all good. I, we're, we're catching the end of it right now as Puck's still messing around a little bit and they're looking like they might be able to dive this here and with no Zeus for another 20 skins like they need to be careful. The center stun did go through. He's going to TP away immediately. Pretty heads up play but it doesn't end up working out. Nature's Prophet Ultimate kills him off and Gabby's still away in the in the jungle but man that uh, that centaur was able to tank a, a, a good deal of that tower damage while simultaneously allowing them to get a kill on the Venge. Yeah. Uh, does have the stomp, but not enough mana to use it. Mango's available, gonna dodge away one direction. They get the silence off, TPing away. I think that he does escape here, though, so... Pretty heads up play there by Gabby to make sure he hasn't died. And again, like, Spectre's not getting the best farm in the world. You know, 26 CS right now, but is level 5 and hasn't died. Most important thing. Uh, uh, in a lot of trouble, Flaming Lasso available, but not going to be able to get out of there. And they do find the kill. So 4 to 10, they're, they're starting to take pretty dominant control of this game. About 6,000 gold lead into the favor of Mineski with around 5,000 experience. This is tough. Um, I don't know how this is going to end up working out for them. I mean, you look again at the way that they're able to take these towers just so quickly, and the Enchantress, you know, Nature's Profit combo, it's too strong. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. Now, yeah. well, and we'll see. They're making a move now. As we do have the Firefly, going to be able to catch on the Vestibule. That's a ton of damage, and definitely going to die. But they catch their victory onto the Dream Quail. They end up falling in, chasing after Ben Hur. Should be able to kill him off. Oh, he ends up being able to get taken down. Now the turn back around, Finger of Death committed, and that's going to kill off the Bat Rider. Venge barely alive, and it looks like they're going to call it good for there. They don't need to get too greedy. They don't need to get too crazy. Just take the couple of kills that are given to you, and then go back to farming and. You know, the way that we're looking at this, it's 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 starting to look like maybe ACA are going to have a hold of this game. Oh, jeez.
Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you're getting... Uh, the the Zeus is building towards that veil, but it's still a long ways off. Like, these are items that need to be up around the same time. And just because of the net worth lead that we've been able to see from Maneski, it, it hasn't been able to work out for them. I will say that one avenue for the Radiant to get back into this pretty effectively would be to, you know, go for... Because of this ward, they're spotting out that all the Ancients are here, um, and they're starting to get stacked up. If they do come and contest that Sven, you know... The, his his ability to take those with that very global and mobile strat that they have, I think that they're going to be in a good position to get a nice little pickoff here. Um, but that would be pretty good for them. Raging Potato, bottom lane. Can they actually catch him? They do have the Firefly available if they want to use it. Doom is available as well. They actually end up going at court right from the start. There's the Infernal Blade as well. Slowed down ever so slightly. Raging Potato should die here and they don't even have to commit. Uh, Alright, well Zeus stole the kill. Um, that was weird. Okay. Okay. I guess the other thing is that it does, I mean, again, like, it, it does accelerate Zeus's farm a little bit. It's the difference of 200 gold, um, which isn't the best thing in the world, but as far as, like, you know, it's hard to analyze the plays after the fact because you don't get the full, complete, total information, um, but it, it still ended up being okay, I think. I will say now, though, that it, right now Sven is going to be able to finish off these Ancients, and they're coming to try and contest it, but he's already out of there. Uh, walking back the other direction, though, this might be a bit of a trouble. G is going to walk straight forward don't end up going on him and maybe just maybe had they had that thunder god's wrath up at that point they could have been able to make something work but still smoked out oh, it's canceled out now they're not gonna be able to get anything here Can they find him? I mean, they're right there, front and center. Oh, Gabby, so low. They end up being able to get the counter initiation with the Veil out as well, and that might be able to finish off the puck here. He does end up going down. Uh, still fairly worth it. That was commitment of the Flaming Lasso as well as Thunder God's Wrath. Um, but, yeah, that, that combo coming out with the, you know, everything committed from Puck as well as the Lion, it's just a, a very dead specter. Right. Well, Doom is available, and they're getting themselves in a good position. Haunts in right from the start, looking for the Doom. They are going to be able to get it onto the Sven, so he's in a lot of trouble. Raging Potato, meanwhile, is going to end up going down as well. Veil has already been committed for this one. They're turning back around, trying to do whatever they can. G got hit once with the impetus, but I don't think it's going to be enough. And meanwhile, the Bat Rider just fire flying over everybody. Actually, Jules is going to be a ton of damage as well. There's going to be the Puck jumps forward. Is Salon still alive? Nice Earth Spike. Maybe going to be able to finish off. G here does manage to buy out for his Aether Lens before he goes down but regardless he did die so three to four a decent trade not the worst thing in the world puck didn't quite end up being able to kill off there in the end on the bat rider but still i think into the favor of aca you see about a 700 gold lead and more importantly it's it's you know another objective not taken so the longer that they can sort of hold these out it's well yeah Uh, they think that they're maybe going to be able to kill him off. Yeah, he's, he's super dead. Nice little play. Um, Zeus back up in a second. He does have Thunder God's Wrath, but without Haunt, I don't think that they can do that. Yeah. Yeah.
Right. Well, and he does have enough gold right now to pick up something else. He's got uh, the Bracer coming out on the Courier, so might have been more worth it to go for the Robe of the Magi first, uh, but this is going to help him out a little bit. He's more tanky. Oh, they've actually been able to catch out. My goodness, Jules goes down. Lion a little bit too far forward, and that dagger was able to make it work, and now they actually illusory or forward. Uh, Doom has now been committed onto Puck. He's in a ton of trouble right now. They end up going for the Flame Break, connects onto several. Sven looking for initiation, does manage to hit onto G. Infernal Blade comes down, stopping that first attack. There's the magic missile as well. Puck can't do anything in this. Jesse Fetch is dropping low. He's gonna end up going down. They end up being able to find the kill with G, and two are already dead. Predator ended up paying for it as well, but that's gonna be the turn back around. Oh, tons of damage coming from the Puck. He's pissed. They are gonna be able to just barely get away, trying to man up against the Sven. I don't know if it's a good idea. He ends up going for the dagger is going to be able to escape. Oh no, but he's caught out! That dagger ends up wearing off. He's not able to get to the low ground. Rage and Potato with the triple kill and a little bit of unluckiness gone there from ACA. Did he, wait, did he just cast the dagger? Did he turn back around? I, I don't know what happened there. Okay. Jeez. That was so freaking close. Um, and still, like, they got the Doom off on the puck, but they weren't able to bring him down, and the damage was just a little bit too far spread out, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, I, and, and he, I mean, that's a that's a team fight that you want, particularly when there's like no mana drain on the side of the dire. Like, it's just all straight up DPS that he's putting out there. And I mean, at this point in time, you're starting to look at the Spectre again. And are they actually going to be able to do that? Oh, that hurts. So Spectre right now is actually really poor still. Um... I don't know, I, I always feel about Spectre that just the super late game oriented hero, uh, but with just drums and earn right now, it, do, do you think that this is enough to try and go for the Radiant next, or um, do you just try and go for the stats build on, on the spec here? Right. Yeah. Well, and that's something that we were talking about if things did go a little bit awry. Um, I, I will say that even though right now it's a, a 12k net worth lead, this is the type of lineup for ACA where you can come back into the game. It's it's 12k experience in that worth, but I, I, I kind of get the feeling, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but Maneski can't be feeling comfortable with this lead as long as there's still these tier 2 towers standing. Yeah, and I, I mean, we, we did see that the Doom on the Puck last time, that's a traditionally really great hero to Doom up, but the big problem that... Oh, <laughs> oh really? Um, okay, he, I don't know. Is that mind games or what? <laughs> oh, Raging Potato, he, he kept on animation canning the DP into the mid of... in the middle of all of them. <laughs> I don't know. Exactly. Well, I, they're starting to get pressure on the, the tier 3 tower here. Um, and it does start to feel like Maneski is sort of going into try and end the game mode, uh, which is certainly, they're capable of doing it. Um, 
I guess the the big question I, I I'm really still wondering about is, you know, with the Doom, do you want do you try and prioritize that damage, and you run the risk of potentially losing the damage later, the damage coming back in later, like we saw in that last team fight where Puck was able to outlast the Doom, um, or do you try and you know take down one of those more utility oriented heroes, um, or do you just take whoever you can get? I guess. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, blue. Jules in the meantime is just kind of hiding over in the trees here, waiting for somebody to slightly overextend and maybe end up seeing the, the Nature's Prophet TP in on it as well. Um, they are going to still keep eyes on this. I, I really like these wards, though. I feel like people should use them more often pro Dota. Like, the opportunity to find kills with this and hiding over to the side, particularly if you have, like, a very global-oriented strat, uh, just feels so strong. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Mm-hmm. Well, right now it does look like the Spectre with the Blade of Alacrity up is going to be trying to transition either into the Diffusal Blade or the Yasha. Is there one that you particularly favor this game um, as far as sort of trying to build towards maybe a little bit more farming speed versus the, the damage in the team fight and that mana burn? Radiance top tower is under attack. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I think that that's one of the ways in which Spectre tended to try and be played in this patch to, to really make him the, the great hero that it's been. Like, you end up being able to find kills, and because of that, you get an acceleration in gold. And if that isn't happening, you know, with these lion pick here, it's 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 a real issue. And so um, maybe you end up doing it by, like, softening up the rest of your team or something like that. It's also worth noting, Spec has kind of been with a lot of his team throughout this, as opposed to waiting in the fountain or, or farming off to the other side of the map and then going for the reality instead. Um, but meanwhile, they jump forward, able to catch as well. Oh, God, he's just getting exploded. No more Batrider. G is also going to maybe go down. Yules has already been committed. They do gain the Doom, but I don't know if it's going to be enough to be able to stop Spec. So freaking tanky. You know, Raging Potato actually going to drop down. So they get that kill. Turn back around. Silence. Isalon is going to drop as well. There's going to be the a lot of damage coming out there from the Impetus. But one for two trades so far. They're able to keep G alive. Again, this dude is just... He's Houdini, honestly. Gabby? Oh no, he's gonna end up going down. Oh, maybe it should get out of there. Oh, never mind, excuse me. I thought that maybe Fly Solo was gonna be able to do it, but just so freaking dead. And now a, a huge issue at this point. The impetus shots are coming through. They do end up being able to get the flaming lasso off. That's gonna kill off Ben. Maybe dove ever so slightly too elite. Jeff Z Bash still getting chased down. Does have another lightning bolt. That's gonna be the kill. And now looking for the lion. Can't find him. Jules is trying desperately to run away. They end up jumping forward there with the bat rider. Flaming lasso no longer up, but they can't catch. Buck actually ends up going for the illusor orb. There's the jaunt back the other direction trying to TP away. Can they stop it? They do end up being able to get him. Zeus at the very last second with Lightning Bolt. Two for three trade. The puck going down at the end. That was really nicely played there. And even without the puck goal figured in, that's about 1,800 gold. And my goodness, they're doing this. ACA. Dyer's top tower is under attack. 
Dyer's structures are fortified. Yeah. Well, and it's by no means an easy game at this stage. Like, they do end up. I, I don't know if I still saw that ward being placed, but you certainly saw the line for a second. I mean, I'm looking at this, and you're starting to see Gabby build towards that, you know, the, the ultimate orb, and um, while well, they are going to be able to take down Roshan, and yet again, I am going to keep my eyes on Roshan this time around. <laughs> um, it's still a, a situation that's, that's very scary to think about. Like, it, this Mantis style is going to be up, going to be able to take off the sounds, going to be able to rip somebody apart with the Desolate damage. If they don't sort of shore up a little bit and, and make sure that they get something with this Aegis, I'm really concerned for Maneski. Duration is eight, but it's a 4.5 second stun. Yeah, the the duration on the the standing there in place is terrifying. Like eight seconds. That's that's long. Mm -hmm. come, come. Yeah. Top tower is under attack. Uh, thankfully, Spectre does have that ultimate orb in stash, and they don't have to venture out towards the uh, the shop to pick it up. Oh, it does not quite catch those last hits there. That actually would have been the, the recipe, and still so close to finishing off. Should be able to find it in these next couple creep waves, but if he's not careful, could end up getting initiated on, and the rest of the team nowhere nearby. Oh man, so close Radiant's to potentially being able to pick it up, but attack. needs to play really safe. Because if Spectre dies at this point, like the game can pretty much be close to over. Absolutely. Well, I guess that's the thing, really, is that, like, yes, if you kill the Spectre, you win the game, but if you end up feeding away a couple of kills to the Spectre, you also lose the game. So you kind of got to uh, play it really close. Like, the, the, the comeback mechanic still is very much in effect, and um, I, I would definitely still say the Ness gear in control of this game. They somewhat control their fates as well, as far as what's going to happen. But I, I do believe that there's a good chance that we end up seeing... You know, if they get a little bit fast and loose with their fights, ACA coming back. It doesn't look like it based off those, but yeah, it's it's going to be a little while. They they do have one off cooldown in 27 seconds, but it looks like right now they they don't even need to smoke on up. They're going to walk down the bottom lane. Again, this is scary. You've got this Spectre with the Manta style up and ready to go. You find somebody, you kill them pretty quickly with the Zeus ulti coming in there. At least think about it. They jump forward, they catch. Oh, because he already has a booster orb. That's going to just beat him down. No more Lion for the control. They do end up being able to pop the BKB as well as the God Strength, but now Zeus not going to get control there. He actually is able to blink back away, keeping that separation. A phase shift as well. A ton of damage is coming out, but they actually haven't hit onto any of the heroes. Everybody pretty much is still alive except for that Batrider who had to buy back. So they're doing a fairly decent job with the line still out of it. They have no more haunt, so 
God, it's just so scary though. With all of these creeps just hitting away at the tower. How do they stop this? Well, and it, I guess, I, again, like, with this age, it's going to expire here, I think. I don't believe that they're going to be able to make anything with it. Um, and, again, things that are good for ACA, I don't know if it's good enough yet. They are going to be bringing on out what looks to be the makings of an Octor Corp potential for Zeus. Uh, we've also got the Spectre, who's been able to get 1,200 gold. Like, they bought back on the Batrider, but Batrider already has most of his kit. Like, the only thing he could really else want would be a BKB, but that's not really super necessary for him to do his job. The Aegis did just expire, it looks like. Um, and they actually have a Lincolns on Sven now, too. Or they're about to, and another two gold. Um, if they end up committing for it, they might actually just wait. So, with the without the Aegis now, actually, do you think they need to wait until the next Roshan? No. Yeah. Speaking of which, I mean, Doom was right up there from the center and could have jumped on that Sven with the rest of his buddies right there. He's got the net available, the ensnare as well as Doom, but didn't end up going for it, playing things a little bit close to the chest for the moment. Uh, again, the, the Lincoln Sphere is just so good in this game for him. Like, you're blocking Doom, you're blocking Flaming Lasso. Uh, they are going to run right into him, though. G is there. They end up being able to pop the BKB. Oh, fly solo. I think they just give him up at this point, maybe. No, going to maybe look for a little bit more. Ishan dropping pretty low as well. They're going to be able to jump on in. G trying to get out of there. Oh, God. He doesn't have a TP. He doesn't have anything. He's going to end up going down. They do end up having the DD rune up on Gabby, though. And he's starting to a lot of damage. Well, look at Raging Potato go. He just has too much damage. And oh, G is going to get caught out. Ishalan's going to die, as is the Zeus. Double kill for Raging Potato. And, oh man, this is just, this destruction. Zeus buys back into the game, but who does he have left to keep him alive with them? Like, it, that was such a huge gold swing. More importantly, towers are going to start to go down. They do jump forward, looking for the catch, and they're not going to be able to. Huck phase shifts away from that flaming lasso, and now another initiation comes on out. Spectre's BKB, or excuse me, jumping into the fray. No more available. Trying to chase after this puck. Was able to go for the Ethereal Jean, but no Blink Dagger because of the urn stapling it for the moment. The chase is still going. This might be a little bit deep. They need to be careful. They have been able to turn back around on the other side. G is dropping low. Oh, God, the Impetus. They get the silence. Oh, and they're not going to be able to kill the puck. There's the Yule Scepter still keeping them alive for the moment. Phase Shift, and then just going to be able to blink out of there. Running away forever for days. They can't kill him off. Oh, and now the, the, the hunters have become the hunted. The Spectre's gonna go down. Gabby with the dieback. Oh, no. And to think that all started with... Oh, no. Doom is now also caught. Rageous Potato. They do end up being able to catch him there with the Flammy Lasso. He's, he's gonna end up going down, I think. Maybe? Question mark? All right, he's dead. But yeah, you mentioned he has buyback. To think that this all could have maybe been avoided if the Doom would have just sort of sacked Gank. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Well, it goes to show how quickly something like this can turn around. Like, we were, uh, granted, again, Miski were in the lead, but 
that team fight was just so horrendously bad that, I mean, you can't even, it, there, there was no way they win that one. And because of that, that does look like Mineski are probably going to end up taking the poke on his jump board. Dream Quill, everything else committed, they're all dead. Uh, that's two already down, and I, I think it might be found in diving time. Just a couple of minutes here. Honk committed to Jesse Daps. They're actually going to be able to kill him off at least. The chase continuing now for the spin. They beat up Raging Potato, trying to turn on to this last barracks. Can they possibly finish it off? I, I don't think that he matters, honestly. Uh, ben Hur pretty low. Does end up going for the face shift again. Turn back around. Nice Yule Scepter to be able to dodge away from the Storm Hammer, but that just ensures his puck escapes. Oh. Oh, I got one kill in all of that. It's so low. Yeah, I mean, he's got the Desolator, it's dead. And he actually, I mean, he is gonna die here, there's no question about it, but he does a, a decent chunk of damage in the meantime. Gabby actually drops so low from that. Uh, and... Again, it just, it didn't end up working out right now. They're, they're mega creeped up at 36 minutes and, you know, Spectre having to go for this Diffusal Blade to try and do anything relevant in terms of damage, but like BKBs are up. It's just, it's, it's so hard for them to make anything work because of their lack of farm. Yeah. Well, we're having a dance party over in the the Radiant place. I'm um, sure if you can spot this out, but Venge was showing off some pretty cool moves. Zeus is just is fabulous right now. He's finally going to get hit a couple of times in the head, but that was pretty nice. I, I like that. They're, they're keeping it interesting for us. <laughs> Regardless. Roshan has fallen to the dark. Immortality. So you don't think it's completely over then for Asia. You think that there's still a chance for him. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, I'm with you. Yeah, it's it's uh it definitely feels difficult. Okay. Oh god, there's the swap out to keep this back alive at 4.5 seconds stun. They're just gonna jump on in again and everybody, my god, the crits are there. Ultra kill, he's gonna be going for it. He, there's no way he doesn't go for this. He's just gonna continue the chase, needs to find a rampage to send, needs to make that happen and doesn't end up being able to do it. The ancients end up falling, ladies and gentlemen. That's game for one and ACA end up losing it to Maneski in spectacular fashion. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys very much for tuning in. We'll be back in just a couple of seconds with uh, what could potentially be our final game of the night, the final game of the semifinals. We'll see if indeed that is what it's going to be. Can ACA bring it back or are Maneski going to...